everybody! Welcome back to Coffee and Lore. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Sorry we are in the car again. I headed to Dunkin' Donuts. Yummy. For my morning coffee to enjoy it and talk about the new Stephanie Plum book, which as you guys know, I absolutely love that series and it came out about a week and a half ago. So we're going to catch up on that. And upon me going there to Dunkin', I went to go to their outdoor seating and I had a really nice video planned and it is like 49 degrees out right now and I'm not sitting outside drinking my coffee when it's 49 degrees so we have a little heat going and we are sitting in the car but that's okay because you know why you guys come here to hear what I think about a book. And that's what we're going to do today. So, Janet Ivanovich, number 27. Can you believe we're on number 27 already? I have been reading, I was telling a friend of mine this, I have been reading the Stephanie Plum series the majority of my young adult life. I am 30, I'm in my early 30s, um, and I have been reading these books since I was probably 12 or 13, I feel like. I feel like I was... I was pretty young when I found one for the money sitting on my stepmom's side table by the couch, I think it was. Because I remember I was so young that I got in trouble at my dad's house for reading these books. Um, because, you know, they can be a little, little fast, a little, like, violent or sexual innuendos or whatever. And I was, I was real young. Um... But my mom was a lot more lenient on what I read. And so I remember as soon as I got back to my mom's house from my dad's house, I was like, Mom, this book series, we have to read it. And me and mom just read all of them like really quickly. So yeah, I have been reading the Stephanie Plum series for the majority of my life. And with that, I can say not every single one of the books is amazing. There's 27 of them for crying out loud. Some of them are just going to be like, the, you know, what was that face, Lauren? <laughs> like, just like, blah. You know what I mean? Like, they're not the best, but they're not horrible because it's still 70 plumps. It's still going to make you chuckle. Um, The last book, number 26, was kind of that way for me. Me and my mom talked about it. And we were like, you know, it was funny, but we didn't get all the resolutions that we wanted. There was like a lot of big things that they left out in number 26. So on that note, when 27 came out, I was like, listen, y'all need to tell me where these keys go to. Y'all need to tell me a lot of things. I had hoped this chick would finally make a decision in her life with the two men in her life. Alas, she flip-flops back and forth the entire book, as she has done since I was 12 years old. But, <laughs> I digress. 27, very good. Answers a ton of questions. If you read 26, then a lot of your questions get answered in 27, aka where the keys go to. So, Backing up a little bit, Stephanie Plum is a bounty hunter. Like I said, if you're trying to pick up and read this series, don't pick up 27. Start from the beginning. Start with one for the money. Like, it's a really, really good series. But if you have no idea anything about who Stephanie Plum is, she is a bounty hunter in New Jersey. She's got a crazy grandma, a crazy sidekick Lula, who used to be a hooker and now does filing for the bail bonds office. Stephanie saves her life in one of the very early books. I believe it's number two. It might be number one, but I think it's number two. Um, really, really good, funny murder mysteries. Who's done it? You know what I mean? The kind of thing I generally like to read. So these books are just all about her crazy adventures. And in this one, Grandma had married this mob boss. And he died on her like 45 minutes after they got married. He had a heart attack. But he left her some keys to a safe. 
And now all these mob bosses are coming out of the woodwork trying to kill Stephanie and Grandma or get these keys because they want the treasure. The treasure. Nobody knows what the treasure is. Nobody knows what these keys go to. It's a pretty big mystery that, that Stephanie and them have to unsolve. And they do finally in 27. Woo! Because in 26 was a lot of buildup. Um, the 26th book was mostly, that came out last year, was mostly them finding the keys and then not telling us where anything was. So 27 wraps up everything that 26 opened up and you get some Ranger love. So if you're a Ranger fan, she, she spends a lot of time in 27 with Ranger, which is awesome. But then at the end of 27, Morelli's in her bed again. So, no, no big decisions in there, and I don't think she ever will make one. However, thumbs up for, I believe it's called Fortune and Glory, number 27 in the Stephanie Plum series. Big fan. Much better than 26. Keep it up, Janet Ivanovich. I hope you guys are having a great week. I, I love getting to come on here and talk about books with you. What are you guys reading?